time. Well, it's been a couple of weeks. What? A couple of weeks ago, I made two, two videos in one week, and then I went two weeks without making any videos. So, and that is because um, my um, schedule has been kind of crazy. We had a, a vacation, an unexpected vacation. My husband had to take up some time before the year was out because he was going to lose it at his job, lose the time, the, the off days at his job so he used them and so we had like a nine day vacation and it was last week and then like uh saturday sunday oh so yeah i got a lot of stuff you guys a lot of stuff it's pretty bad it's pretty bad i got a huge haul here anyway um let's get into it all right i'm gonna go by store because i think i went to like seven different stores whoo i need to stop stop shopping for a little while because this is too much. It's not too much. It's just, you know, some of the stuff I actually needed, needed. Okay, first thing. This is Texas Thrift, this bag. This is from Texas Thrift on Harry Hines. No, no, I'm sorry. It's from Thrift Giant. And, um, Gilmore Girl Season 7. And I remember saying in a previous video when I found Season 1 of Gilmore Girls, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. Um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to turn it into a game or a challenge and challenge myself and try to find every single season at thrift stores instead of buying, you know, retail. So this is the second one. This is the seventh season, but this is the second um, in the series. Well, it's the second season that I have found. So I'm going to be finding all, f I'm going to find the other five, two through six, because now I have one and seven, and now I just need two through six. And yeah, I'm excited to find them. It's like, it's, it's fun. It's like a little game now. I look in the movie section every time I go to a thrift store now, which I didn't previously. Anyway, so yep, here is the second item. These are by Bruno Magli. Bruno Mag Magli, um, made in Italy. They're really nice. They're really nice. They weren't, they weren't used very much. They're a size seven and a half. Um, they're really cute. I wish they were in my size, but you know, yeah, it's kind of rare for me to find stuff in my size when I'm thrifting. So, but anyway, these are really nice, and I'm gonna sell them or give them away because they are a very good brand. They were two ninety nine. They were they were listed as two ninety nine, which they should have been more expensive because this is a pretty expensive brand. But the store didn't know, I guess. So I got them for two ninety nine. Yep, yep. I like. Okay, and their books were 45 cents one of the days I went, so this, or their books were, yeah, they were 45 cents. So I got this Nicholas Sparks, I like Nicholas Sparks um, books and movies, so yep, I'm going to have to read this one when I get some time. And it looks like it has never been, never been read, never been used. No creases or anything, the spine is perfect, it looks good. 45 cents for that. And that originally is a... Uh, 15 bucks. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, this is so cute. I felt, okay, this is the week for, last week was the week for wool and boots for me. Oh my goodness. Got some good stuff. Wool. I got three really nice, I found three really nice wool items. Here's one. Tell me this is the cutest little thing you have seen in a while. This is um, Charles Klein. I had never heard of the brand, but apparently it's pretty good. This is a size 6. It's for my daughter. And I've been wanting a wool coat for her. And this is so cute. And I showed it to my husband. And he was like, wait, she's big enough to wear that? It looks so grown. <laughs> it looked a little sad. And I thought, well, it's, it's a size 6, so she'll wear it next year. Not this year because I already have a coat for this year. I always buy a coat um, at the end or, you know, during winter or um, at the end of the year for the next year for my children. I buy all of their coats because they're they're really cheap at the end of the year. And in, until like February, they're pretty cheap. Coats are cheap at different stores. So I buy them then for the, pre, for the next year. And if I find a good enough deal, I'll buy two years in advance. Saves money. Okay, and... I found these two wallets. These are both Coach Coach wallets. This one was $16 and forgot the name of it. $16 and it has a lot of card slots, which I love. And um, it has a divider here. This is patent leather, in case you couldn't tell. And this is um, 
This is a um, nice, soft, just, you know, I don't know if it's cowhide, but nice normal leather. And it really is really nice. These are C's, of course. Forgot the name of this. Oh, well. This was 16, 16 something, and I, it was half off that day. So it was eight something. This, I love this. This is black, my favorite color for handbags, wallets, most things, actually. I love black because they it doesn't show a lot of scuffs or you know dirt um so with wallets since i'm opening them up all the time and grabbing them out of my handbag and all that kind of stuff i love dark dark colored wallets and so um this was this was 12 dollars i believe and it, not on sale but i bought it anyway because i really like it and it looks like it hasn't been used hardly at all the color is a little darker up here than down here it's supposed to be the same color but it's a little darker up here it had a couple of little marks and I kind of, I washed, I cleaned it with leather cleaner. But other than that, it looks like it has not really been used at all. And it has, um, slots here, pocket, 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 six more card slots. And this is a zippered pocket. And the, the lining says, um, well, it has the, it's a signature lining, it has a C's on it. It's very nice. I love this. I love this wallet a lot. That's why I paid the full price. When I find something that I really like, sometimes I treat myself and just go ahead and buy it, even if it's more than what I typically spend. Okay, here's another wool item. This, I have been wanting one of these for years, and I've never really found one that I like enough to buy, you know? But this, I believe it's 100% wool. I love these with some boots and a turtleneck. Oh, simple, classy, classic. I love it. The brand, Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers. Um, yeah, yep, 100% wool. And the lining is 100% rayon. And there is like hardly any wear at all. I can't tell if anyone wore this. Can't tell if they did. You know, they kept it up really well. And it, it um has a little give to it it's really really nice this was if i'm not mistaken it was like 3.99 brooks brothers 3.99 love it love it okay that pair of cole Haan boots that i found i believe was the first thrifted pair of boots um that i loved that i found i mean from a good brand that um i think it might have been the first pair of boots that i've ever thrifted typically i go on ebay because there's a big bigger selection for my um, big feet so um, but uh, I have not found any boots until then I think I think that was the first pair anyway this past week I found like three or four in my size and then and then some you know some more boots but anyway I found these these would go cute with that uh that skirt maybe these boots right here this is knit leather have not been used. They were $9.99. These are Stuart Weitzman boots. I saw these and I passed them up a couple of times because I thought, eh, ah. And then I realized, wait, that might be my size. And I looked at them and um, they said 10 and a half, which is also fine. With boots, I don't mind going a half size up because I wear socks anyway, thick socks sometimes during the winter. And then I noticed that it had a $345 price tag on the bottom from whatever previous store, retail store it was. So um, I was like, oh wow, and a YKK zipper. I thought, well, well who's, what brand is this? 350 bucks. And I looked inside and saw Stuart Weitzman pretty much toss them into the basket, threw them, threw them into the shopping cart. Like These are going home with me. I'd have bought them even if they were $20 because they're my size. Oh my goodness. And not, they have never been used ever. And they're, they're different. The leather, do you see this? It looks like the leather is kind of cut. It's in a cut design. It's, it's interesting. I don't have anything like this. And I love the knit. Um, this is probably wool. Knowing Stuart Weitzman, it's probably wool. Because they typically have the best quality, best quality stuff. On to the next store. Um, let's see. What store is this called? Family, Collins, Collins Family Thrift or something. I went there and I found this. This is so cute. 
Isn't this nice? This is nice. This is linen, 100% linen, and this is leather. The straps are leather, and the body of the bag is linen, and the hardware is really nice. The hardware, can you tell who this is? The hardware is really, really, you know, prominent. It's B. Mikowski. Really nice. So you know this this leather, B. Mikowski's leather is really nice. The trim. You probably would have guessed who this was when you saw the lining, right? Because this lining is signature B. Mikowski. I love the lining. It's so nice. This does not look like it was used by anybody. There's like a little bit of dust or trash in it. Not trash, but like a few little specks of dust it looks like. There, zipper pocket, the zippered section, and then, you know, the zippered section, um, I mean, the zippered pocket separates the two sections in here, and it has a cell phone, the key ring, the D-ring, magnetic closure. It's really nice, and then the back has the, uh, the typical B. Mikowski cell phone pocket, two pockets on the side. It's just, it's so nice. I love this thing. I forgot how much it retailed for, like two, uh, I forgot, I forgot how much. But anyway, this is really nice. And it was, this was $10. $10. Found this also at the same store. Like, yesterday, actually, I went yesterday. The other, the bag I found yes, um, last week. But this, I found yesterday, the green tag was half off. This is a J Crew. J Crew denim denim jacket excellent condition and I've been looking for denim jackets and J Crew is a really good brand that I trust and it was 960 and so I got it for four th uh, 450 four, almost five bucks yeah it's nice it's really nice size um, small it's really nice then I found these that store, sometimes they overprice stuff, and then they actually all through stores. Sometimes they overprice the most ridiculous things. The cheapest, most ridiculous things. I mean, the cheapest brands, they overprice. And then sometimes they they completely underprice, underprice, undervalue, whatever. <laughs> Good brands. Like this. Uggs. Never used. These were $6.56. cents. Uggs are pretty expensive too, so and they're really well made. They got that nice little sheepskin in there. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. And then this is suede, like wood, wood, <laughs> or whatever they they make their um the soles, the soles from. Really nice. And these are a size seven, so can't fit it, but I will sell them. And then they also underpriced these. Kate Spade loafers. These were um, seven dollars and fifty-seven cents. <laughs> I don't know what they were doing. They were like Forever Twenty One for twenty bucks, and then you got these Kate Spades for like not even eight dollars. They've been used like once or twice, hardly hardly used at all. Really nice. Yep. So that was um that store. And then I went to the Thrift Giant in Irving for the first time. And I was kind of disappointed because their, their pricing is awful compared to the other Thrift Giant locations. Um, it was pretty high. It was ridiculously high. Some of their handbags were ridiculous. Like, really cheap brands. Again, like, like the other store I was talking about. But I did find these. Elaine Turner in my size. And they were $16.81, but they were half off. So I got them for 8 Eight, um, almost nine bucks. Elaine Turner, and they look like they were tried on indoors. That's it, because there's just a little dirt. There's no wear. There's just a tiny bit of dirt on the bottom. So, yeah, Elaine Turner is a really good brand, and I like the color. These are very interesting. They will they wear a white t-shirt in spring with some blue jeans, and just this, this will definitely add a nice pop of color. So that's nice. That was the only thing I got from that store. And then I went to the St. Vincent. Um, all of these, some of these are like within minutes of each other. So when I hit one, I go up to, I go to the next one. Oh, speaking of Elaine Turner, forgot this was the same brand. 
here's a purse by her. Handbag, has a strap inside. It's like a clutch, a small a clutch strap though. It has a strap, so it's like a, a clutch, a convertible clutch, I guess, that you can, convertible handbag. You can turn it from, from um, a crossbody to a clutch. And it has this cute little silver thing, so you can kind of use it like this, handbag or a crossbody, or you can put this inside also and just use the whole thing as a clutch which I really like. It's very versatile. I love that. And it's brand looks brand new. And it's like a crinkle, really soft crinkled leather, which is interesting. And it's a bronze color. I don't know. Bronze. Wow, bronze. Bronze color. I don't know if you can uh, tell if the lighting is good or not. I got that same place I found these Michael Kors sunglasses. Um, case. This was, oh, this was like around $2. They were half off. So it was, oh, no, they were 30% off. And this was nine, nine something, 980 or something like that. So yeah, those were really nice. Okay, I hope I'm not running out of time here. Okay, see y'all, This, look at this bag. And this bag. And then I have one more. Oh man. I gotta sell this stuff or give it away or something. Okay, thrift, Texas Thrift. Found another B. Mikowski bag. Another B. Mikowski bag. This was like six, uh, four. I had a 30% off coupon. This was six dollars, so I got it for four something. If I'm not mistaken, this is very good condition. It was used a couple times, but very good condition. And it's not, it's not really my style style. You know, these, I'm not really into the, like, clunky chunky stud like jewel anything you know jewelry anything I'm, I'm typically kind of I tone it down with a lot of stuff I mean I wear really simple really like solid colors basic basic colors and all that but this is cool this is an add a pop of color if I decide to keep it and add a pop of color to my very simple wardrobe <laughs> so that's that and then yesterday I well a couple of days ago I think I went to Texas three, three times because the car that we bought was down the street from it. So I went like a couple of times. This is Le, Le Sport Sack. Stella McCartney for Le Sport Sack. And this is a bowling bowling bag. Is that what it's called? It's the bowling bag and it's a travel bag. It has the uh, the straps here that you can put on your um, your rolling luggage. A couple of zipper, a zipper pocket has a magnetic closure here, slip pocket, giant slip pocket, another one back here, and it zips, it zips around here, and so you have this compartment on the bottom, and I was so surprised to find this. I didn't even know Stella McCartney did a, a collaboration with Le Sport Sack. Oh man, I don't want to take this strap off. And then, you know, it's, it's dark gray in here. <laughs> And has another pocket inside, but it's really, really nice. And this does not look like it was used at all, at all. And it was priced at six ninety eight, and I had a thirty percent off coupon. Six ninety eight for Stella McCartney, McCartney. Oh my goodness, what is her name? Stella McCartney. Yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Third B. Mikowski bag this past week. Third one. They also didn't price this like they should have these. They've been missing these B. Mikowskis. $6.98, 30% off coupon. Cute crossbody. This is like a tweed material. This is very nice leather. I love the metal. I love his metallic leather. Zippered pocket. I like the size of this. It's very deep inside. Has a zipper pocket inside with the like the cell phone pockets. Cell phone pocket in the back. Very nice. And I found what, my goodness, you guys, so frustrating. I've been looking for sneakers for myself, right? Found these, Stuart Weitzman, suede, gorgeous to me. These are just, I love these. They're simple. They're just my style. These are like a size nine. They're like a half size too small for me. A half size. Do you think I could stretch these? Like take them to a cobbler and have them stretch them a little? Or I can do my own DIY stretching? I don't know. It's leather, but I don't know. I love these. They were nine bucks and I got them for 30% off of that. So they're about $7. 
so frustrating. Half a size. Half a size. I can get my foot into it, but it's just a little snug. Ugh, I'm going to try to stretch them, y'all. If not, then I'll, I'll sell them. Oh, and they dropped the ball on that store. Didn't catch these either. Brand new. Lucky brand. Forgot the name of them, but these were priced at $2.98. And I had a 30% off coupon. So, yeah. And these are size 9, but they actually do fit. Because they're open. You know, they do fit. So I'm looking forward to wearing these. Oh, this is like a cork material. Kind of. They're so nice to me. I love these. I like these. They're very, they're cute. They're very cute to me. So anyway, yeah, that's all that. Woo! I don't even have space for this stuff. And here's what I got yesterday from Texas Thrift. This, oh, they missed this too. Lacoste. Lacoste, that's how you pronounce it, right? The Lacoste, like, barrel bag, duffel bag. This was $4.98. Brand new. Brand new hasn't been used it's not that big but you know it's it's really nice it even has the strap oh no the strap is definitely attached to it a lot of times i find handbags that don't have the um detachable strap anyway pocket pocket here and this is nylon material really good quality nylon with cowhide straps and it's again lacoste i don't whatever 4.98 I don't get it. They don't catch it. This was 98 cent, 99 cents. It was in a barrel on like a bin kind of. They just, they got a whole lot of sunglasses and, and um, phone cases. And so they just plopped everything into that bin and said, everything is 99 cents. And I found some other, a couple of other great things in there. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to show you. Spartina. I don't even know. Something Island. Dofuski Dof Island. Natural linen and genuine leather. And I think this is like a makeup pouch. So I really thought this was so cute. I love the linen. And never been used. 99 cents. They also didn't catch this. Kate Spade. Kate Spade bag. Forgot the name of it, but this is like a tiger. It's tiger print, I believe. Tiger stripes. And this is um, nylon and leather. And this was made in the USA. There's a tag in there that says it. It has a red... I mean, a zipper pocket in here in red lining. I love it. And it was $4.98. Very good condition, too. Very good. Like, excellent condition. It was $4.98. Oh, now, here's what I got. Also, from the um, 99 cents bin. Not, not this. The product case I got a while back for $2.99, I believe. This is genuine Prada. And um, I just, I, I'm keeping it, of course. I'm not going to sell it because I have some designer sunglasses. These, I had never even heard of this guy, but Paul Smith. Paul Smith sunglasses. 99 cents. It has a nice, a, I like the design. A cute guitar here. And yeah, made in Japan. They're authentic. I looked them up. Paul Smith. And these retail for over 200 um, Yeah, I think he was knighted by the Queen in England or something like that because of his, um, apparently the article said something like because of what he brought to the fashion world there. So anyway, that was a good find. And then the same bin, 99 cents. Oh, come out. Come out, come out wherever you are. All right, I was so, I cannot believe I found these. These are also authentic. <sighs> These are also authentic. Ray-Ban. Not just any Ray-Ban. Folding. Folding. Vintage folding Ray-Bans. And they're authentic. I looked them up. And yeah, they are very good quality. They're heavy. These things, yep. B and L Ray Ban, B and L Bosch Bosch and Lamb was it? B and L Ray Ban Frame France Folding Wayfarer. Oh, I okay, yeah. I'm so excited. And these are these vintage Ray Bans are going for like. Try to, I'm not selling. I probably won't be selling them anyway. I don't know. I don't know yet. Anyway. That's that.
Now here's, what's the one this? Oh, Brick Giant Outlet. I'm gonna have to go kind of fast. 149. Christian Dior, Monsieur. Is that the brand? Christian Dior, Monsieur. Can I, I can't pronounce that part. Where's the tag? Oh, here it is. Christian Dior, Monsieur. Monsieur. Cashmere, 100% acrylic, and it's um, vintage, I believe, and it's authentic. 149. And this was 25% off. So that was some good stuff there. Also found here's one of the coats I found. I I stumbled upon these. This was of oh, the green tag that day was 75% off. This was green tag. This was normally a uh, 20 something dollars, but I got it for six something. Fog by London Fog. Look at that lining. There's a drawstring here at the waist. And it's my size, and it does not look like it has been worn at all, maybe once. I can't, there are no signs of wear. I love when I find this type of stuff. This is why I don't shop retail. With a hood. And London Fog is a brand I trust. It's black. I told y'all about those, those black items I love. So that was like $6 and something. These Uggs were also a green tag. Everything that day was green. I, everything I got that day was a green tag except the uh, except the scarf and like one other item. But these were $25 green tags. So I got them for six something. And they don't look like they've been worn at all. There's no wear. They're Uggs, wedges, my size, size 10. So I've been lucky this past week finding my size shoes. These are really nice. Love them, love them. Okay, and boots. I just got really lucky that day. I found a whole lot of green tag, green tags on these boots. These were, these are Carlos Santana. They don't look like they've been worn at all. They were six bucks green tag. So they were like one, two, uh, three, one fifty, one fifty. Cute, right? Like a size five selling. These and Klein. These were also green tag and they were seven dollars so like 150 175 or something like that really nice and these are in my size so i'm not sure if i'm gonna sell them or not but yeah these are really cute barely worn <laughs> see these boots y'all finally i finally find boots in my size these are very very cute i really wish these were in my size these i had never heard of this is mia shadow Green tag nine dollars. I mean no 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 pink tag half off. So they were four fifty. Mia Shadow. These things were like three hundred and twenty dollars retail. Look how cute these are. Look at this. Oh, if these were in my size, oh my goodness. I'm almost tempted to just buy a pair off of Poshmark or something. If they weren't too expensive. These are so cute to me. Oh man, I love these. Aren't these look at this. See how the belt goes under? That is so gorgeous. Yeah, but four fifty. So I'm selling those, and they were barely worn. They just have this little nick, and they have a little, little tiny wear on here, and then a nick here. I, hopefully, hopefully people won't care. Okay, and then I found <laughs> another pair of Cole Han boots. These are the waterproof, and they are size nine and a half. I'm telling you, God is just blessing me finally with some boots in my size. They were $29, and the lady, they were a P, they were a pink tag, so they were half off, but they have this little bit of, the, the material's coming um, out here a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, but um, I'm probably going to have them either fixed, or I'm going to try to fix them myself and just kind of use something to glue them back and then push them back into the sole here. It's just a tiny thing. They're barely worn. And when I told her about this, the lady at the register gave them to me for 75% off. So these were like six, six dollars, uh, seven, seven fifty. Y'all, I love them. Aren't these nice? These are so nice, right? Two pairs of Cole Haan boots within, within two weeks time. Last thing. Woo, let's go. Goodwill Industries. Goodwill Industries, I found this pair 
these were what two four ninety nine and half off. I went to their half off sale. These are AGL. I'm not even gonna try, gonna try to pronounce that. Um, but AGL, this is probably the softest leather I've ever felt in my life. These retail for over three hundred dollars. They're size eight and a half. They're not worn a whole lot at all. They were two fifty. Really nice. My favorite find. I don't know if it's, my, if it's my favorite find, but I think it's the most expensive find. And I spent the most money on it, too. Okay. I don't have one of these. I've been looking for a wool coat. And I finally found one. It was $30 but half off. Brooks Brothers. Size 6. My size. Brooks Brothers. Wool Angora and Cashmere. And this thing retailed for $1,200. And I got it for 15 <gasps> Yeah, and aside from... It, let's see. Aside from... It's been worn a couple times, I think, because uh, this is slit a little bit in two places on the seam, so it's fixable, definitely. And that's it. That's the only problem. Oh my goodness, you guys. And this wool, because it's cashmere, probably an angora, which is rabbit hair, is so soft. Oh, I'm not going to, like, rub my face or anything against it because I haven't dry cleaned it yet. So, yes, I am so excited about this. Because, again, I was looking for a um, a wool coat. I've been looking for a, wool, a nice wool coat for the past, like, two years because I sold the one I had because it, it was too big. Um, so, yeah. That, that's my favorite find. Well, I don't know if it's my favorite find. Uh, Y'all, oh, my goodness. This this closet is packed. So many nice little Christmas gifts for myself here on this floor. But yeah, I'm very excited about all of my finds, all of the boots. This was like boot week for me. Oh, I've already cleaned these. I've already cleaned them. And yeah, so excited about these. So that's my haul. And um... I uh, hope you enjoyed, and yeah, uh, keep on thrifting to those of you who thrift, and if you have not before, go check it out. You saw all of this ridiculously great stuff, right? Yeah, go check out your thrift stores in your area, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye. Happy holidays.